Hello babe and welcome back to my channel and to this video that's gonna be a bit of a bonus video I tried to do the unboxing of the glossy box and the look fantastic boxes as a bit of a bonus video uh, so it doesn't really disrupt my normal scheduling I upload videos on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday sometimes I have a bonus video on Wednesdays like today. I get these boxes sent to me as PR, but this video is not sponsored. I do have some codes to save some money with these brands, some on uh, subscription boxes, some on other things at their site, so I'm gonna leave them down below, not affiliated. Neither of the codes are affiliated, just so you know. This box from Glossybox, they are having a birthday. Look at how pretty this is. It's like, it's like a pink holographic. I think you can see. It's so pretty birthday edition. I haven't opened these, so I don't know what's in them. And then it's this beautiful like orange, it's a dark orange base with a light orange cover and then it's a gold trim. These, both of these boxes are super pretty. I'm gonna save both of them. I usually save boxes like this to put like little knickknacks in. Like I have like medicine in one of them I have like oh I have like dog things like the clippers and stuff like that in, in another one so I usually save these boxes they do come in handy if nothing else to use to ship out uh, goodies and presents for friends or uh, giveaway winners and um, so before I open them let's do some like bit of an info oh I did film this look it is coming next week so excited, it's coming next week. Look Fantastic has six full size or deluxe size products. Glossybox has five. Glossybox is more affordable than Look Fantastic. Look Fantastic uh, is the same thing in the box in the entire world, everywhere they, where they send Look Fantastic boxes. Glossybox has different things in them uh, depending on which country you're getting them in. Both of these boxes are available internationally. So I'm so excited to open this. I want to open the glossy box because it's so pretty. The glossy box it comes with a glossy magazine. This month it is, says happy birthday. It is a very pretty girl on the front with a nice of a like dusty pink background. And then usually it just has some things to read in here and also it has some information about the products that are in the box. So let's open this up. And we can see what's in it. How do I want to? How do I want to do this? Okay, so it's the silk paper is pink, and there's a white ribbon, and here is the card. Um, ooh, even the sticker is holographic. That is so cool. So let's read on this. Uh, that's I always do that. So let's start with that. Happy birthday! Glossy box fyller år, och du är inbjuden till en rosa glittrande fest i San Glossy Anda. Månadens sockersöta box är fylld med fem stämningshöjande beauty treats. Glänta på det gnistrande locket för att bli för att bli party redo. Med de eh, med de nya skimrande och matta nyanserna i Ah, Bang Beauty's Warm Neutral Eyeshadow Palette. Although Warm Neutral Eyeshadow Palette, Ooh, that's not really mine. Eh, kan du skapa allt från en varmt korallrosa look till en sotad kvällsmakeup? Låt festen börja. Okay, so this says Glossy Box is having their birthday and you are invited to a pink glittery party in a true glossy spirit. This month's so uh, how do you say sugar sweet box? Yeah, this month's sugar sweet box is filled with five uh, mood raising beauty treats. Look inside the sparkling lid to be party ready with the nine shimmering and matte. Um, Colors in the Bang Beauty's Warm Neutral Eyeshadow Palette. You can do anything from a warm, corally pink makeup look to a very smoky evening makeup look. Let the party begin. So, I guess there is an eyeshadow palette within this one. Let's open this and see what we get. Now I have a new kitten. Maybe she wants to play with this. She's sleeping. Let's see what's in there. Ooh, look at the... The worms are even holographic. Oh, that's so cute. So this is what it looks like. Let's see where the, oh, this is the makeup palette. That is so cute, it's so small. It's in plastic, is that a good or a bad sign? I never really know. Okay, so it is a basic plastic packaging, very reminiscent of how the packaging of the Nine Pan palette from ColourPop looks like. The outside, just smaller and Okay, not horrible, not horrible. Let me see if I can show you. How can I do it, like that? I mean, not my color scheme, but at least it's not all browns. I mean, I don't hate that. Is it for me? I don't really know about that, but 
that is not that's not horrible and it's a big mirror so I guess a lot of people will enjoy it's so compact this if the quality is okay not that bad not that bad this is a oh my god I thought this was condoms says something about me guardian angel revitalizing eye gels patches gels wait that was French let's not do that what I do brighten hydrate deep puff is with cucumber rose extract and green tea and hyaluronic acid. Oh, these are nice. And it says it's ideal for jet lag, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so it's like a one-time use. You know, I love getting like packs like this of like sheet masks and eye masks and stuff like that because that is a typical thing that I love using, but I don't really buy for myself. So getting that in boxes like this, I find very ideal. This is a Luxie brush. That is super cool. This is a nice brand and sometimes you do get brushes from them. Ooh, it's got a nice like indent here. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can show you. You see the indent on the handle? That is a really nice not too big fluffy crease brush this is the 702 taper blending eye that is probably super cool that is actually a really nice thing then there is a Yves Rocher I think that's how you say it this is the pure blue bluet Express eye makeup remover. Oh, it's one of those that you shake. I love using this as the first step for removing my eye makeup So I always like getting a new one. So let's try this out and see if it's any good. Yves Rocher is actually quite a nice brand It is a, a French brand. They do really good stuff. I used to use a lot of their beauty stuff when I was younger I really have glue everywhere Goddamn. So yeah, I'm excited about that and these, I mean, I use these a lot. Then it's something that I don't like getting and I totally get why this is here because we've got an eyeshadow palette, but I don't like getting perfume samples as one item. It is so easy to get a perfume sample. You get them everywhere. You get them in orders, you get them when you shop, uh, like in stores, you get them in magazines. I mean, people throw these samples at you. So to get them as one item in a box, I don't really like that. This is the Narciso, 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 Narciso. I don't know. Uh, Eau de Parfum Rouge. This is a red one, so let's at least smell it. I am not all about the like really light scents that a lot of people like. I feel like they smell like laundry detergent and that's not how I want to smell. Well, it's a pretty bottle at least, but mm, I don't know about that one. You know what? Maybe. That was actually quite dark and sexy. It reminds me a bit of Dolce Gabbana Red, you know, the red bottle. And I really like that. But this is a bit more maybe modern and not as like classic as that one. Okay, I don't hate this. I don't hate this. I'm actually going to use this, but I don't like getting a perfume sample as one of the items. I do think that that cheapens the box. Uh, and it's a shame because all of the other things in the box were so good. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be so harsh then because all of the other things in the box are things that I like, that I think were good items. So maybe I shouldn't be so harsh because all in all, this is a good box. Okay, maybe I shouldn't be so harsh. I am always too harsh. Oopsie. No, I don't want to install any updates. Go away. Okay, now let's go into the Look Fantastic box. This one has six items, like I said. And this one also comes with a little magazine. This is called the Beauty Box Edit. It also has some information, uh, both about the products that's in this box and also about other products. And then you get an L. This is L UK in a more like travel friendly size. I haven't actually read this one. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that tonight. That's, ooh, maybe you'll get the L September issue then next. Oh, I am so excited about the September issues coming out in fashion. Ooh, I already bought one because the Danish magazine Costume already came out with their September issue and it was so nice. Costume is one of my favorite uh, fashion magazines in case you are interested in finding a new one. Although it's in Danish. <laughs> so if Danish isn't your... Language, maybe maybe not. So let's open this box and see. I know that Look Fantastic is having a uh, birthday coming up as well. This one is all orange. This one smells of something. Ooh, this also has a Luxie brush. 
let's also re remember one thing. Look Fantastic, the same company that owns Look Fantastic, owns Glossy Box, like the parenting company. They are owned by the same parenting company. So let's all just keep that in mind when sometimes things are a bit simple. Okay, so this one has one, two, three, four, five, six things. Okay, so let's just look at the brush then. This seems nice. These are so nice. Oh, it's the same. Uh, it's the same series with the dent. This is the 737 tapered highlighting. I don't know if I would use this for highlighting, but maybe for blush. Because I wanted to have something new for blush that's a bit flimsy, but not too flimsy. Because I like putting a really sweeping blush on, uh, but I don't want it to be too flimsy because I do like a lot of blush. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. This one is from Rituals. Is Rituals a brand that's like available in a lot of countries? Because in Sweden, people go crazy for Rituals. People go as crazy for Rituals as people in US go for Bath and Body Works. That's how like cult status Rituals is in Sweden. Uh, I don't really, I haven't, not that I dislike Rituals. I don't, I think they're nice. I have some things from them. Why do I feel like I have something under my eye? Because I do. Go away, go away. But I just haven't tried that much. This is a Rituals Cream on nourish, Nourishing. Nourishing? Stop it. Nourishing Body Cream in the Rituals of Holly. Color your world with love. Flamingo Flower and Pink Grapefruit. I love grapefruit! Why isn't this a shower gel? Well, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe this is... Too, I like grapefruit because it's so fresh. And I don't know if this smelled fresh enough. I'm just gonna take a little bit on my... You know what? Never mind. This was really nice. This is very... This is very grapefruity, but it has a bit of a sweetness in the background. I'm guessing that is the flamingo flower, which I have no idea what that is. I know what a flamingo is, and I know what a flower is. Not really sure what a flamingo flower is. Yeah, you know what? That's actually really nice, and I love that you get a smaller size, because I never go through things like this if it's a big size. It's, it's not for me. There is a uh, Natura, Na Natura, in Sweden we say Natura, Natura, herb infused sheet mask, blemish control and rebalances complexion. Oh, so I guess that this is something if you have a bit of a breakout then, it's always nice. Packed with superfood ingredients, this is a vegan mask. Uh, packed with a variety of herbs and vitamins, this multitasking mask rebalances skin tone, reduces enlarged pores, brightens complex, oh wow, a lot of things. External use only. I feel like the reason why these things are put on packages is because something has happened before and I just, I don't want to know. I'm going to need to know a basis. Don't tell me. Okay. The next thing is the James Reed Self Tan One Hour Glow Tan. Wait, One Hour Tan Glow Mask for face? Oh, so this is a self-tanner for face. I am one of the lucky people that don't get breakouts from self-tanner in my face. So I can actually use self-tanner in my face and I don't get any kind of breakout from that. So maybe this isn't for me. Maybe I'll give this to a friend who has problems with um, like self-tanner in their face because I don't. I just use the same self-tanner all over and I'm perfectly fine. But I do realize that most people aren't. So maybe I'll save this and see if there's someone I know who wants to try that one because I, I am aware of how lucky I am to be able to do that. This is a Douce? Douce. I think so. Luscious Lip Stain. This seems to be a deluxe sample. Uh, don't think I'm gonna open this one. Holiday getaway. It is a really beautiful color, but I mean, you know how much like lip products I have. I'm just gonna put this in the giveaway pile and somebody will be able to enjoy this because I'm gonna have a giveaway pretty, oh, come back, pretty soon. So I'll just put this in the giveaway and I think someone will really enjoy that. Okay, last product. This is a Bella Pierre Cosmetics Heat Wave Highlighting Palette. This is a really nice product. I don't need this, but this is a really nice product. So this is what she looks like. It is a highlighting product. It has some warm tones, some cool tones. It seems to be some more bronzy, some goldy, some icy. And I, I overall, I don't, I don't hate getting a product like this. It isn't sealed, so I'm just gonna open it and look. One even looks a bit peachy. This one even looks like it could be a pink duochrome. This isn't a bad 
thing. This isn't a bad thing to get and I feel like if you were doing a subscription box like this because you were trying to get like to expand your collection a bit or to try more formulas or to see what you like, getting something like this, that's awesome. I don't hate this. I haven't really heard about the brand except they're sending me 250 mails a week trying to get me to promote their brand on my channel. Please stop sending me so many mails, okay? I don't, I don't hate you, I just don't need that many mails, okay? That goes for other brands as well. Please stop. But yeah, all in all, I thought that this was a great box as well. Let me see if I can find... Which box do I like the most? Ooh, that's hard! Oh my god, I... I, I think that both boxes are equally good. I actually think that both boxes are equally good because the glossy box is actually more affordable as well. And I think that if I had it as big of a collection as I have right now, I would have been equally thrilled to get any of these boxes. I think that with any of these boxes, you always get like one thing that isn't like perfect for you. I always get at least one thing in the boxes that I'm like, eh. but I will say I haven't had any problems re-gifting them, giving them to my mom, my friends, my co-workers in giveaways and I feel like they've been pretty good received, at least most of it. There's always some things where I'm like, what happened here? Like the glitter mask from last month? That was a no-no. But all in all, I think this is pretty cool. Let me see if I can find some prices. Okay, so the brush is uh, £26.50. That's like $30. That's actually pretty cool. The Bella Pierre highlighting palette is £30. That's like over $30, it's not worth that. That's, I feel like sometimes the brands that you find in boxes like this, it's like the, the pricing is ridiculous. Like why would you buy this? I, it's amazing to get in a box like this because you don't pay that much for the box, but who goes out and buys this for 30 pounds? I feel like something is off with that. Um, the mask is about, uh, 12 pounds, like $15. I think James Reed is a pretty expensive brand. And then it is the sheet mask that is five pounds, like $6. I feel like that's a pretty okay one. And so same here, this little sample thing, it's supposed to be 12 pounds. I mean, with a brand that it's mostly found in boxes like this, I feel like they just do a price and then they just end up in boxes. I don't really understand that. That is very weird. This is not worth uh, 12 pounds. It just isn't. And then the Rituals Cream is, uh, this is a black sample and it is about seven pounds. That is uh, less than $10. I feel like that is a pretty, pretty good uh, price, right? Let me see about the other one then because I have another box. I feel like some of those things, I mean, they're not worth what it, they would cost to buy them, but I also feel like not maybe a lot of people would go out and buy them, but to get them, oh yeah, it's on this card, but to just get them in a box like that, like this, that is pretty cool. Okay, so the palette, I mean, original product, like $35, it's obviously not worth that, and I don't think that anyone is buying Bang Beauty outside of boxes like this, but it is a pretty cool thing to get in a box like this. I do think that that is cool. The uh, the brush is about like $25. The eye mask is, oh, it's really affordable. It's under, it's under $5. And then the, yeah, the original product, it's like $65, but this, this is, this, according to me, not worth anything because you can get it for free. And then it's the eye makeup remover and this is like $10 for 100 milliliters. Is this, uh, yeah, so this is like $10 for a product like this. So yeah, all in all, I thought that these boxes were pretty good and I'm going to use a bunch of these products and what I don't use, I'm going to give away and I think they are going to be a good thing to re-gift. Good thing to re -gift. Let me know what you think about these boxes. Let me know if you have any of these boxes. And if you are interested, like I said, there are some links and codes down in the description box. Not affiliated. I think the links might be. Ooh, the links might be affiliated, but the codes aren't. I just want to be 100% transparent. I always do a little asterisk behind links if they are affiliated. If you're ever wondering what that is, I do have an explanation for that in the description box as well. I do realize that my description box is so long though, but it's because I try to get all the info I can and put it in. But that was everything for this video. If you want to be subscribed, please do. I'm going to have a video up tomorrow as well. So yeah, I hope you come back then and watch that one. I hope you have a lovely, lovely day and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.